Hi, this is David. Today we're going to talk about how to take a Visual Studio solution and add it to an Azure DevOps code repository. Now, I've already got my Azure DevOps set up here and I have an organization called David Giard. And I also have Visual Studio open, Visual Studio 2019 right here. And I'm going to create a new project. I'll make this an ASP.NET Core application, but the process is the same regardless. I'll call this one DG Test Web App right here. Process is the same regardless of what kind of project it is. I'll click on Create, and it asks me what kind of project it is. That's fine. And here we go. Now it's created this right here. And I can run this, and it's, you can see that it's the, the, the basic default page that you get out of the box. When you create a project like that. But I want to add it to Azure DevOps. So what I want to do is go into Team Explorer and click on this Manage Connections icon. It looks like a little plug right here. And if I don't see the the, my organization listed here, then what I can do is I can say manage connections and actually connect to a project and come in here and validate that I have right here somewhere uh, davidgr.visualstudio.com. I just have to select one of these things here and click on connect. And there we're good right there. I've connected to it. And then I want to create a local repository. And the way I do that is I'll right click on the solution and select add solution to source control. right here and it's been added. You see these little lock icons have appeared and that just says it's been added to the, social, the local Git repository on my local machine. It hasn't been added anywhere in Azure DevOps. In fact, if I refresh this, you won't see anything in here, anything new in this page right here. So the way we'll have to do that is we're going to go into here and we can look at the changes here. There aren't any changes right here because everything was already added, but what I want to do is I want to sync this. So I'll go back to the home here and click on sync. And it asks me, where am I going to sync this to? Uh, because notice it's the first time that I've done this. To a GitHub repository or to Azure DevOps. And I want to do it in Azure DevOps and I'll publish it to a Git repo in Azure DevOps. So I'm going to do that. If I hadn't authenticated, it would ask me to authenticate here. It asks me what's the name of the repository, and it defaults to the name of my solution. I think that's fine. And then I just click the Publish Repository button right here. And you can see this, if you look closely, you see that little animation up there says it's going on. And now it's done. And it says this was pushed. I click this link right here to see it on the web. I'll do that, and it'll take me right there. If I didn't do that, coming back to my organization right here, just refreshing that, I would see my new project. DG test web app right here. And if I come down into repos and look at the files, you see there's my project right here. And in fact, I can look at one of these pages here, like for example, index one, where it says, uh, welcome, learn about building web, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's just the same under pages. Index one, you can see that's right here. Welcome and learn about building web apps, etc. right here. Now, if I want to actually manage my source control, I can come in here and make a change. I'll add the words change one right there, and I'll save it. And with Git, it's a really a two-step process. First, I need to commit locally, and then I need to push my changes up to the server. So I'm going to do that. First thing I can do is go into Team Explorer, and I'll click on Changes. If you don't see this screen, you can always click on the Home button. But I'll click on Changes right here, and it shows me I have changed to one file. I'll put a comment in change one and then I will commit that file and now I've committed it locally and now I want to sync and I can either do that by clicking this sync button or if I go to the home page I can click sync here to pick up the sync page and I, I like to sync both ways I like to get changes and receive changes but you have the option of just uh, going in one direction if you want to but I'm going to sync right here and so my change change one. Now it's been synced. So it's successfully synced up this message up here. And if I go back up to here and I refresh this page, then I should see my change. And I do.
So now my changes locally have been pushed up to the repository, and if I'm on a team, then other users can get those changes by doing a fetch or a pull. Now imagine if a teammate is working on the same project, and they come along and they change this thing by pushing or pulling, or I'm going to take a shortcut here and click this edit button and just change it right in here, and they make a change and commit that. So now I'm happily working along, and I don't have that change yet. When I want to sync up changes that other users have done, I can go back into Team Explorer and go back to the sync page and then sync again, or I could do a fetch or a pull. And now this will sync, and you see the this page automatically fetched. Now I already have change two. So now I'm in source control and I'm actively collaborating with other team members and I'm saving all those changes. In this video, I've shown you how to integrate your Visual Studio solution with an Azure DevOps source code repository. This is David. Thank you for watching.